this is cruising, this is terrific. I just love it. It's my favourite style of holiday. This is holidaying on the high seas, and Australia has just taken the crown as home to the world's most prolific cruisers per capita. How many cruises have you done? Uh, this will... I've um, done 58. Dennis and Kay Hughes might love cruising a bit more than most, but they're not exactly alone. What is becoming attractive to everybody is, A, the safety of a cruise, um, the value for money that you get on a cruise because you look at it, you work it out to a daily rate so you're getting your travel, your accommodation, your meals, your entertainment all for a one price. The uptake in cruising has seen the world's major cruise lines base part of their fleets in Australia for the cruise season. It's also meant smaller ports have played host to visiting ships boosting local economies. Asta's been based, it, it, this is a second year in, in, in Fremantle, well she'll do 19 cruises this year. Um, the ship is what we believe is an ideal size product, 600 passengers, um, which is a really nice comfortable size cruising. Grant Hunter from CMV, which owns the Asta, says a cruise really has something for everyone and there's a cruise to suit everyone. I love it, I love it. Um, it is, I think, possibly the ultimate relaxation for people, whether they're um, busy in their careers or just want to relax as they um, in retirement, etc. There, there is something for everybody. Australians have taken to cruising like, well, ducks to water. Next year, the number of Australians getting on a cruise is expected to hit a million, which means it now rivals Bali as a travel destination for Aussies. I've been on about seven, yeah, yeah. We got into it late. I've traveled the world um, and it was only in the last five, six years now that I've started cruising. The convenience, not having to drive anywhere, just. The food. Like any holiday, the cost of cruises depends on the level of luxury you're chasing. On the Aster, the suites offer the size and finishes of a hotel penthouse. Of course, most opt for something a little more modest in a smaller stateroom. But unlike a hotel, the cost of your room includes your meals and they're five star. Everything from fine dining to all you can eat buffets. It's a value for money product. I mean, when you, when you pay for your cruise ticket, what you get is your accommodation, in a, in a nice style of accommodation, very comfortable, with all the modern facilities. Uh, you also have all your meals are paid for, so your out-of-pocket expenses are what you decide. On board a cruise ship, you'll find bars and cafes. There are beauty salons and spa rooms. There's shops and boutiques, and then there's the entertainment. Everything from cabaret floor shows, musicians, to Broadway musicals. And all of this, depending on the ship and itinerary, will set you back as little as $100 each per night. That's for everything, your room, meals, and entertainment. Cruising is uh, the best way for people to have holidays. Aster captain Emmanuel Sakaris has been sailing for 50 years, more than half of those on the bridge of passenger ships. He says he's enjoying seeing Australians discover cruising. And I can say, without trying to flatten you, that they are the best passengers I ever experienced. In the next year, Fremantle will play host to more than 50 cruisers, either stopping or turning around. Already, there are berths booked through till September 2018. Such is the popularity of cruising in Australia. I have three booked. <laughs> you love it, don't you? I do. Honestly, I do.